as we start off this year with this banger video after watching please get this video out to your friends share it like it subscribe i appreciate all the love and support i got in 2022 thank you guys so much but let's make 2023 a better year for ohio's finest outdoors thank you guys man february 20th winter bass fishing guys 2023 and we're back at it it is prime time one of my favorite times of the year to catch giant bass every year i tell you guys the last two weeks of february and the first two weeks of march are perfect to catch these giant girls you're definitely going to sacrifice bites but if you're looking for the bass of a lifetime the time is now we got some great footage coming for you. Hogzilla 2, which was caught a week ago. But a lot of you guys say, Bass Curtis, can you give us a little demonstration of the technique that you use when chasing these giant bass? Let me start with this right here. This is actually a quarter ounce black and blue jig from Blue Rock Custom Tackle. However, I was using an army crawl quarter round from Blue Rock Custom Tackle when I caught Hogzilla on Monday. There is no better bait out there when searching for a giant bass, in my opinion, than the quarter ounce black and blue jig or army crawl. And I pair it with Zoom Super Chunk Jr. The rod, I'm telling you right now, in my opinion, there's no better rod maker or brand than St. Croix. This right here is a seven foot three medium heavy legend tournament. Yes, it's pricey, but I promise it's worth it. I pair that with Shimano Vanford 4000 series. Nothing beats Shimano and it lasts forever. 14 pound string. Got the job done on Hogzilla last year and it got the job done on Hogzilla too which we'll be following shortly. The technique I love using this time of the year is, a lot of those fish are still in the deeper water, which they will be transitioning up into the shallows when the water temperature starts to rise. And we've had some uh, very warm days for the month of February, which got some of those bass to moving and some of the bait fish to moving. So I like to make long casts, and obviously this is not the body of water I caught Hogzilla, but this is the closest body of water that I could come out after catching Hogzilla Monday with my camera guy. Shout out to 33 Oak Productions, my man behind the camera, Logan. Um, I will make long casts this time of the year and I want it in the deepest part of the water. So I would just make a long cast. And one of the things I love is just, you know, the natural countdown. I want my bait to be on the bottom and my favorite technique this time of the year because you can fish the jig multiple different ways, but my favorite is the drag, and I just let it sit for five seconds. Reel the slack in, drag, let it sit for five seconds, but it's important that your bait is on the bottom. So once I know I don't see my line dropping anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and reel my slack in, and I don't wanna lift it up a ton. I know that my jig is out there on the bottom. I'm gonna drag it and I'm just gonna let it sit. Three, four, five. Reel my slack in. I'm gonna drag. Reel that slack in, drag. Let it sit. And a lot of times, those big bass hit that bait when it's just sitting there. Hogzilla, the second, hit when I was leaving that bet that bait was stationary and that giant bass it didn't thump it at all what it did was I felt it it sucked it in 
and I slowly see my line take off to the left. And as it's taking off to the left, I'm reeling my slack in, I'm reeling my slack in, and boom! Big, big girl. Boom. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's a giant. guys can see this or not Ooh. February 20th President's Day and a giant eight pounds four ounces a freaking toad Woo. look at that yeah freaking giant baby yeah let's go I don't know if you guys can see this or not it is a freaking toad, baby. February 20th, winter bass fishing, Blue Rock Custom Tackle Jig, eight pounds, four ounces, and I mean an absolute giant for the state of Ohio. Look at that. Let's go, baby. Look at that right there. Oh my goodness, let's go. As my son would say. Let's get one last look at that right there. Woo! One last look. Get ready to let this beautiful bass go. You're swimming the wrong way, girl. Swim one out of there. Look at that right there. Swim one out. There she goes. Hogzilla 2 was a different breed when talking about fish. When you see the video and you see me hold it up, man, it is a football of a fish. Usually they say smallmouth bass look like big footballs. This was a double football from the head to the tail was giant. And if you pay attention to Hogzilla 1 and make sure you watch the original Hogzilla, I say in that video, I caught Hogzilla on a new moon. Well, guess what? The new moon strikes again because Monday when I caught Hogzilla 2, it was a new moon and we had a change in pressure, a small change in pressure. The barometer dropped and boom. So if you can get out on a new moon, please do it. And the last two weeks of February, first two weeks of March, Take your black and blue quarter ounce jig and watch what happens. <laughs>